We really attribute it to a lack of experience and especially a lack of knowledge of the guidelines. A study by the American Society of Interventional Pain Physicians found that 43% of both short-acting and long-acting opioids are prescribed by non-pain specialists. And really it's the family practice doctors that are doing the bulk of the prescribing. That really ranges from active resistance to being considering a change to being really ready for the change. The treating provider's most common resistance is that the patient's in too much pain and needs the opioids. As an addiction behavioral medicine specialist, I have the advantage of being able to suggest that in behavioral medicine we have techniques to assist the patient to cope with pain in non-pharmaceutical methods. I think the reason why so many physicians order opiates is that's the only tool in their toolbox. That's the only way that they know how to manage pain. And it's been really reinforced to physicians that they must manage pain. It's called the fifth vital sign. What we really do is bring the treating provider back to why they prescribe the opioids and continue to do so. It's supposed to be about first pain control but very importantly functionality and we send them a tool called the resumption of activities daily living scale to see the positive effect or lack of progress is being made in our peer-to-peer -peer call they have that in front of them so that can be our talking points I really see the peer-to-peer -peer call as being an effective tool and we do have an epidemic of overprescribed patients in the workers compensation system so definitely